That doesn't have max speed. Oh, it does have max speeding rods. Dude. <laughs> With R6 wheels. Yeah, R6 Type S5 legs. Hey, hook him up, guys. Darlin. Did you take the CRV table? The table's still in there. The table's in there? Yes. <laughs> oh, the lotus cookies, the biscottis. This guy flew a lot. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're over here at a junkyard in North Carolina, and guys, already it's been a completely different experience from Southern California. These junkyards are insane. Like, look at this. They just throw the cars on the freaking dirt. Like, wow. They don't, they don't even organize this or anything. They just throw them in here. And there are a lot of crazy cool cars. Like, we already saw a freaking eclipse just walking in here. Oh no. That's okay. That's why I'm wearing my junkyard shoes. Anyways, we found a CRV um, and it still has the CRV table. Garrett is currently in here digging for gold. <laughs> but when he finds that, we'll carry on and go find. There it is. What, what? the? Here's the other max feeding rods. Brand new. And tools. Free. Oh, and free tools. Nice. Well, we got a CRV table, guys. I've only been in here for two seconds. Freaking East Coast junkyards are a different experience, bruh. <laughs> Max Peeing Raw is all right. <laughs> so we already scored a freaking CRV table. <laughs> the luck, I don't know if it's luck or the fact that there aren't really many import guys out here, like Garrett said. Freaking CRX has come into this yard and they just sit for days until he pulls everything off for me. <laughs> but, um,. If you guys don't know, if you guys didn't watch the last video, I flew out here to North Carolina yesterday, um, courtesy of Garrett. And I've just been kicking it with him. I'm on a little mini vacation, checking out some junkyards, basically just taking a breather from SoCal life, because oh I don't know, God. guys. Is that a fifth gen? What? No fucking way. Wow, look at those cars. Just an automatic transmission. <laughs> look at the little guy over there peeking at us. Dang. A hatchy with a whole plant growing in it. <laughs> Jeez. Automatic blue base model blue interior. Oh, those are really nice blue back seats. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, look at the main relay. We'll take that main relay. This car made it to a good old 251,000 miles before I got here. Got the main relay. Like this old little Beamer. Oh wow, those are pretty cool stars. Ah, <sighs> Scion, so Yoders. This junkyard here, it's just, it's just uh, everything just sits here for, for a long, long, long time. Some of this shit's been here three fucking four years. Sheesh. Right the fuck out too. Spotted a third gen lewd. Oh wow, crazy ass bumper. Crazy ass exhaust. Oh wow. Look at the motor. What is that, a B20A? B20A5. Manual too. Got a good transmission. I know lots of people looking for that D2J. How do you pull stuff out of the, car, the cars out here if they're not like picked up? Um, you have the guy with the with the forklift and just yeah. tell them what you want and tell them say hey can you pick, come pick up the car they come down the whatever however they can get down here they pick up the car and you do what you get you do everything right there when he has it picked up sounds like a hassle yep can't get away from the little blue seven gens <laughs> Is that an EM2? no it's an es1 uh -oh. or es2 it has the sunroof porsche. Ooh, a porsche
What's up, little guy? Poor little hatchy. Looks like we have a mint CRX hood. Yep, yeah, this is a good hood. Got the hood open. Another little base model dual point car. I'm not gonna take nothing from it. I don't need nothing and I can't really take nothing home. Ugh. Wow. So this is the yard, guys. EM2 on the ground. Purple little pickup. What else do we see? I see a Salica over there. On a Subi wagon. Oh man. These cars always will have my heart. Can't wait to build mine. I love these things. Base model EG. Hydraulic manual tranny. Nice. Damn, she is gutted, gutted. Even took her door. Here's the Salica. Up here at the top, yeah, raised from there. Mm -hmm. All that sand comes into here. Damn, this car's been here five years. Five years, guys. Cars don't even last home for a month. Like, you're lucky if a car's been in a yard for a month. Five years that's a big ass J in here. Damn. Here's this, this 8th gen Accord, or 7th gen Accord, my bad. Wow, guys, such an experience, such an experience. My bad. What is this? Another Eclipse? What the f What do you guys just have Eclipses for? You know how rare those things are at home? You got three of them. I'm staring at another one right now. I dropped my. I left my tea somewhere. I don't know where my tea is. I don't even. I don't even think about it when I see a clip now. There's so many of them. There's the '97. They just have them. <laughs> they just have them out here. You don't see them. I don't see them. Best thing we have in the junkyard is the 3000 GT. Look at that thing. Look at this. Look at this white car. Tell me you know the Is that a Supra? Nope. Salica? Nope. Um, that's a Dodge Daytona. I don't know anything about domestics. I look Japanese. Japanese did make a Mitsubishi movie. Check this out, guys. Look at how things just get overgrown out here. It's so crazy to me. Like, you can tell how much time has passed. Look at this little VW bus. Someone cut out that C-pillar back there. Sheesh. Damn. A little VW bus. Dang, boy. Guys. It's an automatic MR2, but it has the front lip. Look at that hood. Look how cool that is. That's so cool. That's so, this screams 80s. Yeah, it was such an 80s thing to just go and slap the cool name of your car all over it. Did you see this too? Chrome. The chrome fender arch. Someone got the seats already. Automatic. Dude. Beautiful. Laying on the ground. Oh, dude, you found a little turbo. Nice. It's a little tiny turbo. It has Volvo on it. Dude, a little tiny Volvo turbo. Dude, this thing's puny. Just laying on the ground. This is tiny. Probably came from this. Here's your turbo, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. 
such a tiny turbo. It looks like it came from this See, one. that's what you need to slap onto a D-series. Mm -hmm. That would be perfect for a D-series. Oh, she crunchy, crunchy. Well, you think she could be rebuilt? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You guys got cool imports for days. All right, here's an element. K24. Just chilling. All exposed to the elements. Wait till, you, wait till you see the other junker. They've got K-series laying all over the ground. Let's go. Yep. As soon as I figure out how to get out of here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Guys, there's a freaking cop car in here. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> there's that big Ford V8. <laughs> wow. Straight up. Um, This is a cop car from Spartanburg County. A 96 crown bit. <laughs> That's funny. I was just telling Garrett that I'm very grateful to be out here. It's been, it's an experience for sure, dude. Like, this is not home. This is not even close to home. This is so different. I've, as much as I'm into traveling and driving, I truthfully have never really had the opportunity to travel and see the things that I wanted to see. I've only really ever been on the West Coast. So it's like, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a trip coming out here and seeing everything really get we really getting to experience a new culture a new way of life i'm on the east coast i've never been on the east coast i'm so far from home guys like hardly any questions asked i packed my bags and i started flying out here it took me a little while to get out here originally um i ain't even from here and homeboy asked me if i work here <laughs> But anyways, guys, I'm out here in North Carolina for a little while. We're going to go check out another junkyard, and I will update you guys then. Oh, but really quick before we get out of here, check out this little insight they have for sale. It's $2,000. She's got all her center caps. Pinstripe. And best part, she's manual. <laughs> I want one. This would be an awesome daily driver. I think they're, I think it would be. I really like these things. Cause y'all know Brian Gillespie set one of the first land speed records in a Honda Insight. Guys, this man spent $12.81, $12 on a CRV table. Damn. Hey fam, what's going on? So we are out here at the second yard now. I'm with Garrett still. Check this out. <laughs> There's a freaking FC here. Dude. Look at the rotary. The 13B. Damn, somebody hit a Rob Dom. Tell him this shit's out here. Why do you guys keep your batteries? Like, they don't let us have batteries in our yard. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck. Look at this RX-7 seat. This thing's mint. It is. Very nice seat. Driver side's not mint. He says brand new. It is. I mean, it's just rusted. <laughs> Do you guys think this wing would fit on a CRX? I think, I think it would. Or you could, like, and then make it a mid-wing on an EF hatch. You want to test fit it? No. That's a CRX right there. Where? You ready for it? Guys, look. Base model, Torino Red. Nice. This actually was an auto. Only a modest 149,000 miles. Or 142,000. Look at the seats. Dude, the climate control's right there. What the hell? So this is the CRX that Garrett got the taillights from for Dana. 
Because if you guys don't know, Garrett sent these tail lights to Dana for the Flip RX because the Flip RX had those crazy black um, tail lights, and you know we don't really like aftermarket stuff. But look at what I got. She's broken. I know she's broken, but like I don't have one of these at all. And like even if I can't repair this, I can get um, a, a lot of people are making 3D printed faces for these now. And even if I don't want to go that route, I still need I need parts from this to mod my CB7 climate control to work with the EF or to work with the CRX. So either way, I do need this since my car didn't come with this at all. Well, anyways, you guys, there's a super over there and we're going to go check that out now. We don't have water out here. Uh -uh. Check out this blue CRV. B20. Oh, B20Z2. High comp. Wow, dude, this thing's freaking clean. Wow, dude. For having 300,000 miles, 330,000 miles, this thing is clean. The seats don't have a single tear. I think Garrett already looked for the CRV table. You already looked for the CRV table on this one? I sure did. What the hell is this? Yeah, this is a beautiful color. This is B95P, Electron Blue Pearl, the CRV Sport Edition. Richie, tap in. You need anything from this thing? <laughs> wow. Wow. A 7M GT, or GE, my bad. We ain't got no turbo. This is the NA one. Ponce. Got it. Oh yeah, got it, got it, got it. This is super gutted. Oh damn, someone got the Toyota Simple symbol already. Oh, rear mud flaps for the EF hatch. Oh, we got the full SI rear seats. Yep, full SI rear seats. Mint condition. Doesn't look like either of them have a single rip. That black dash is in pretty good condition. Oh, look at that header. She ain't in very good condition, but look at that header. Why'd someone take the intake manifold? Wasn't this a base model? I guess they needed the dual point intake manifold. Straight out of 2002. This, is, this screen's fast and furious. Dang, cut it's off the front thing. end. High speed. Is the intake manifold. Why do you guys have so many freaking eclipses? <laughs> oh no, dude, and another FC. Two FCs in the same yard? You're, dude, that's dumb. Someone took the 13B already from this one. Wow. Dude, it's so crazy what you guys have here. I got that. Training. It's a five-speed too. Wow. That was probably worth money. The one I'm staring at? Another Honda Kid under slash 95. Check him out. See what happened to his car. How did your car end up in the junkyard, buddy? Support your local lowriders. <laughs> That's a cool sticker. Just another little dual point D15. Nothing special. This is dumb. There's so many. If y'all ever want an eclipse, they all got junked in North Carolina. Okay, but the CB7 has like a mint body. Like this body is straight, no dents. Nice. Double wishbone rear suspension. Look at this little guy. Dang. You already know what kind of car this was. Dude, this thing's sick. 
Dude, this thing was rear wheel drive. Dude. This is sick. What are these things? What the fuck is this? Duoderm. Um, yeah, I don't know. This was an interesting... What is that thing that's in the plastic right there on the seat? Is that a syringe? Dude, I don't know. There's some weird stuff that was in this car. It's a catheter! Yeah. Ew! Dang. Look at the muscle. Dang. Ugh. Oh god, I almost got stabbed by that. All right, let's go find an EK. The homie Danny hit me up. He needs a couple parts for his EK, which we can probably find fairly easily out here. We need um, a coolant reservoir, and then we need that little pocket that goes on the door card. I'll show you all what I mean when I find the car. Hmm? Oh man, well, here's the half size radiator for the EK. Um, nope, we don't have that little pocket that Danny needs. And we also don't have the reservoir that he needs. So, no luck here. Let's go find another one. Guys, look at this freaking safety hazard. Wow. Dude, how do you do this? Oh. <laughs> what the frick? You know what kind of car this is? Um, a Lambo? Lamborghini. This is a Lamborghini Urus. Yep. <laughs> that was difficult. Like, I'm out of breath. I would not do that every day. Damn it. Oh, no reservoir. Oh, well. You got it? Mm -mm. Like, imagine you're stuck here late at night and you just hear that repeatedly oh, I'd, I'd from a run. distance coming closer and closer and I'd closer and run. closer. I'd fucking run. Oh. Wow. So I didn't know you could go through here, but apparently you can, according to Garrett. And um, this is where all the vintage stuff is. So, wow, dude. Look at the Jeepers Creepers truck. <laughs> Wow, look at that big ass engine. Is that really the Jeepers Creepers? Uh, it looks like a Jeepers Creepers truck. Oh. Dude, look at this. I thought that was the exact one. Big ass iron block inline six. This thing is huge. That's what she said. I like it. Wow, dude. Got freaking Doc Hudson back here. Mm -hmm. This is where they took his body when he died. <laughs> I can't believe they killed off Doc Hudson in cars. Jeez. That was the real owl for me when I saw that movie. I wonder if there's a Dodge Dart. We need the rear end. Oh, the Chevy. Where's the cut? Oh, the Cuddy. Not the Cuddy. The Cuddy Supreme? Yeah. Why don't you like the Cuddy? Fucking looks like a tank. <laughs> I like the 80s ones. Yeah, me too. Ew. You know what that is. Guys, this thing just landed on my glasses. <laughs> Vega. Hugo Vega? Yep. <laughs> oh. Dang, they just got them buried, dude. They just got them buried. It just keeps going deep. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I bet you, you could rebuild this block. <laughs> the head's right there. It's got a clutch.
Wow. Detroit Diesel. <laughs> nice. So cool. Look at the tow truck. Maybe we can restore this tow truck and we can have a tow truck. Put a J series in it. Imagine. What's Garrett looking at? This freaking thing. This vehicle is wired negative earth. Okay. British Leland. Dude, it just keeps going so far back. This is a car all by itself. What's up, little buddy? The Rover 3 liter. Firing or it's got the firing order written. Oh, nice. On the manifold. Oh, what? what I thought the? that was a muffler. It is. That's the exhaust? Yes. Where does it dump? I don't know. It can't dump in the engine bay. That's yeah. no. It can't be the air filter because isn't that the air filter? Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I truly do not know what I'm looking at right now. I don't know what I'm looking at either. That could be. That could be a weird, strange. Look at this, it's got hinges on it. Cause look at, see that? That's the exhaust, right? And the exhaust is going down underneath the car. Okay. So Wait, what if that's the horn? Look. Yeah, it's a Rover. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what kind of car this was. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oof. Dang, looking like the thing from Fantastic Four in here. <laughs> Jesus. Is this on fire or is this? Yeah, this was on fire. This car caught on fire. For... Oh, yeah. that's It's definitely... a Rover. Of course it caught on fire. That's why it looks like that. I thought maybe it was because of the age, but now I know it was definitely caught on fire. Sheesh. Well, that was a little vintage part of the junkyard. Um, I don't know. We don't know anything about these cars, so I don't really know what I'm looking at. You guys are kind of just in for the ride with us. Uh, Wow, the little V6. I thought for some reason that steering wheel was in the engine. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to trip balls right now like I have acid because I'm fucking heat, heat exhausted. I know. You want to get out of here? Only, only reason I want to get out of here is just so I can get a drink. I'm fucking like, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my marbles right now. I'm I know, gonna... like, because ultimately what's happening out here in North Carolina, at least for me, is I'm just sweating out like everything I drink. I go and drink an entire water bottle and it just it sweats right out and then I still feel just as dehydrated. And that's pretty much what's going on. We've already been in the junkyard for maybe about an hour and a half. It's called heat exhaustion. Yeah. And, uh -uh. This ain't it fam. This ain't it. <laughs> like I can handle being in the freaking San Bernardino junkyards at 100 degrees because it's so dry. Like it's so dry. But out here, the the air's so heavy. It's like, it's literally hard to breathe. At least it is for me. But we don't have stuff like this. Look at this freaking Alco. We don't have stuff like this back at home. Camaro? Yeah, it's an El Camino. Yeah, maybe so. He said, is it the Camaro? <laughs> no, you're all good. I'm just making fun of you. <laughs> Oh, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I know, me too. Main line six is still in there. Okay, you want to go? It's up to you, bro. Yeah, let's go. I'm dying. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's about five. Yeah, that's closing time. Oh, there's a hole in there. Don't jump in there. We got to jump over there. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, guys, before we wrap up the video. Oh, there's a 
Those are freaking hers. How many dead guys do you think have been in here? Ooh, it smells. Oh, it smells like dead person. Ooh, it does. Ooh, oh. close, close the door. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mixture of a van and a truck. What is this weird it's truck? Fiberglass too. It's fiberglass? Yep. Oh, what the hell? It is fiberglass. <laughs> it's a Shelby. Dude, this would be a freaking amazing camper. This would be the road tripper. You could set up a bed in here. You got the freaking engine right there, dude. The V8's right there. The V8 is right there. <laughs> what hood? <laughs> what hood? That's yeah, a pretty... It looks like somebody was living in here. Look, there's yeah. a blanket and there's a bed right there. That's what I was saying. This is a pretty good vehicle. Skyroof, Sky what do you call them? We got the Rotella in the back. Oh, yeah. That's, need that for this big beast. Just can't get out of the yard without scoping out all the Hondas. Oh, it's a auto... All right, fam, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. We're getting out of the junkyard and um, I think my camera is almost full. So I'm gonna have to get a video out while I'm in North Carolina if I wanna keep vlogging the adventure. So anyways, that was a junkyard vlog for y'all. We're gonna get out of here. Um, I'm gonna have Garrett do the outro to the video because well, why not? So let's roll that right now. See you guys in the next one. Oh, hey, thanks guys for watching. Like and subscribe, comment, do all the things, share the video. And you know, thanks for watching us, guys. This is Charlotte, North Carolina. Thanks for coming to visit us.